Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 11th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about measurement units in CSS. So you could build your style rules and you could specify values using several available measurement units and I'm going to discuss the most popular ones in this course. We're going to check out a few in this tutorial and maybe a few in the next one. So what I have here is a document that's called measurement1.html and as you can see in the style section I have a few style rules for the paragraph element and in the body I have uh, three paragraphs uh, so they have uh, the following lines of text frankly my dear I don't give a damn that's uh, a line from Gone with the Wind I'll make him an offer he won't refuse that's of course the famous line from the Godfather and life is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get that's from my favorite movie Forrest Gump so we're going to play with three properties here the first one is line height the second one is font size and the third one is letter spacing and they're all pretty much self-explanatory so line height is the separation between successive lines of text so the unit that's most popularly used with this property is the percentage unit so if suppose you want the separation between your lines of text to be five times the standard size then you would put in a value like 500 percent here so before I put in any values what I'll do is I'll show you guys how this file looks without the application of any style rules so I'll go to the folder where I have this file I'll open it in my browser and this is what I see so there are these three lines of text now I'm going to put in a value 500 percent here 500 percent I'll save the file I'll go to my browser again and refresh it and this is what I see so you can see that there is greater separation between uh, the lines now and that's because I've increased the line height the next property is the font size property and uh, you know some people use the centimeter or the inches value for the font size so if suppose you want each character in your uh, font family to be what uh, two inches in size then you would put in two i n here with no space between the numeric value and uh, the word i n and uh, when i would refresh my page oh this is what i see now so you know the text is too big you'll probably have to scroll down to read uh, all the text uh... but this is not really a good idea you know uh, you would probably want to use something like point for font size but anyway you know I just wanted to show you guys an example of the inches measurement unit and for letter spacing the one that's most popularly popularly used is the X unit so it's actually EX and uh, it has something to do with the alphabet X though so you know uh, with your standard font size the X character has a certain width now if suppose you want your letter spacing to be five times the width of your X character then you would put 5EX as the value so if I type in 5EX here and if I refresh this page in my browser this is what I see so the separation between F and R, R and A and you know all the characters in fact is five times the width of the alphabet X so that's what the EX unit stands for and uh, that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll probably continue our discussion on ma measurement units and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this one. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then.